Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Scott Golden here with the uh, AEW Dark review for the 20th of July, 2021. And I mean, a shorter show today, which is a good sign. Um, this action was uh, taped last Wednesday in Austin, Texas. Blade with the Bunny defeats Ryan Mantell in just under two minutes. Uh, Mantell ultimately is relatively new. Had a couple of matches here on Dark, but nothing necessarily to write home about. And without a doubt, certainly a nice enough match. He is from Austin, but is a enhancement talent in the situa situation. Um, Blade has a match with Orange Cassidy on Dynamite tomorrow. Blade gets star reaction from the crowd, and so did Bunny. And then she choked Mantel across the bottom rope and scratched his back. Uh, Dr. Bob ends a quick squash. And uh, Thunder Rosa defeats Kylan King in the next match. Rosa is obviously hometown here. Gets a Thunder Rosa chant and a, uh, and a uh, really strong reaction from the crowd. Lots of awesome mat wrestling. Rosa converts a Cazadora into a face buster and crushed a seated king with a drop kick in the corner. King comes back with a German suplex and goes for her finisher. Rosa countered and caught King with the Peruvian necktie for a quick tap out. Uh, private party with the acclaimed defeated the varsity blondes in dark order with Allen five angels and 10 with Julie Hart. 652. Uh, negative one is obviously not at ringside because they're uh, obviously on tour and obviously he can't miss school or whatever. Castro raps and he is continually uh, fantastic. Um, and so they, there's a uh, giant, giant, uh, Roll to heart, and then they have a uh, crowd solidly behind Brian Pillman Jr. Mark Quinn trips him up, and he is running the ropes, and he falls victim to the silly string of spinning DDT. Um, Anthony Bowens avoids a tag early, and is more eager to work over Pillman. Quinn follows up with the top rope axe handle. Pillman catches Quinn flying with a boot, and tags in Griff Garrison, attacks everyone with a big boot, and a clothesline. Ten gets a tag in Bowens, gets hit with a spine buster, and Angels flies in with a moonsault and a near fall. Bowens comes back, hits Pillman with an impact DDT. Bowens and Angels um, basically knocked each other out with a double clothesline. Bowens goes to use his boombox as a weapon. Hart takes it away, and Bowens goes after her, and Angels rolls him up for a near fall. Standing Spanish Fly uh, also gets Angels in a near fall situation. Private Party combines to hit Gin and Juice on Angelico, and Castro comes off the top with an elbow for the pin in a great dark uh, main event. Or not main event, but match itself. Um, Post-match, Bowens cuts a promo on Blondes. Uh, he goes after Hart. And um, the acclaimed uh, feud with the Blondes is a highlight for both teams. Abaddon def defeats Promise Braxton. A minute and a half. Uh, Abaddon goes pretty well after that. And... Um, Gets a decent reaction. Wins with an inverted DDT rocker dropper. And there is an all-out commercial. Uh, Bunny with Blade defeats Big Swole. Three and a half minutes. And Diamante comes out on the mic, distracts Swole. Allows Bunny to get an advantage. Diamante sits at ringside to watch the match. And Bunny takes the fight, 
two small slow comes back with a nasty looking heart uh, headbutt and avalanche clothesline in the corner. Uh, Swole then goes for a clear water clover leaf. Blade gets caught on the apron to distract the rest. Diamante then kicks Swole from the apron. And Bunny rolls her up with a handful of tights to get the pin. Later backstage, Swole cuts a promo about how they have lost her money and now she's ready for a match with Diamante. Wardlow defeats Chad Lemieux, 31 seconds. Lemieux, uh, Lemieux is a Dustin Rhodes trainee, comes out to Rhodes music, and Rhodes himself comes out. Wardlow knocks him out in just over 30 seconds with a spine buster and a knee strike. Um, Wardlow finishes his opponent on the top rope and a superplex, but drops him straight down from the top onto his knee. Uh, and obviously... That is a win for Wardlow. Dustin Rose defeats Aaron Solo, Nick Kenamaro, and QT Marshall, 602. Solo and Marshall cut a promo. On their way to the ring, Rose introduced from Austin, Texas. Gets a pop, gets a pop here. Rhodes and Solo brawl on the floor, and they try to get back in the ring. Rhodes gets distracted by Marshall, and Solo whips him into the ring post. Gets an advantage back in the ring, Solo. Uh, uses a knee into the midsection for a near fall. Solo distracts the ref, so uh, Marshall can take a cheap shot on Rhodes into the ropes. Rhodes caught a charging Solo with a reverse atomic drop, but failed on the bulldog attempt, and after a collision, Rhodes comes back with a clothesline and one of the best spinning power slams in wrestling. He then hits a code red for a near fall. Solo counters a final cut attempt with a super kick and follows up with a German suplex. Corkscrew gets him a nice near fall. Solo goes for a, not a pedigree, but Rhodes counters with a uh, slingshot. Solo counters with a double stomp. Rhodes goes for the bulldog. Solo avoids it by pushing Rhodes away. Rhodes catches him with a second bulldog attempt. And gets the pin, and this is the Dark Fane event. Much shorter show, much more effective and efficient. And we'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 